Alrighty, what's going on YouTube? It's Ben. We're back in the studio. This is actually my mate's uh, studio. This is Cam's studio. So a little bit of a change of scene. But today's video, we are going to explore whether or not we can obtain large guitar sounds from a tiny amp. So we've got the Marshall MS2. For all of you uh, aficionados out there, you'll know that's the little pocket amp that you just hook to your hook to your pants. We also have an Ian Thornley signature Sir. We also have a Sir Rufus Reloaded Fuzz. Now you might be wondering, Ben, what the hell kind of tomfoolery are we getting up to here? What we're going to be doing is trying to emulate the tone from Big Rec's song A Place to Call Home because I've heard Ian Thornley say on a couple of interviews and seen footage of him playing through a small tiny MS2 and he kind of slyly suggests that it's kind of the secret to his big guitar sounds on the on the record at least now could he be full of shit and could he be taking us all for a ride he could be he could very well be but i just thought screw it it's going to be a funny little experiment trying to get <laughs> the MS2 to just sound massive, okay? So what I'm gonna do, the plan is this, okay? We're gonna just double track everything because Ian Thornley loves putting 37 guitar tracks on every song. So the idea, bridge pickup, full volume, track the part once, track it again, then go to the two position, dump the tone, which is an Ian Thornley kind of special. Um, double track it again. And then we are going to run through Cam's Marshall Class 5 with that in front. Again, I think in the two position with the tone dumped. Uh, we'll try it in both modes, the octave and the regular fuzz mode. And the at the end of the day, I'm going to hope that we have something kind of approximating a nice big fat guitar sound. So, without further ado, I'm going to tune this guitar to the requisite tuning and we'll bloody find out <laughs> if this, is, this experiment it was even worth doing in the first place. So I'll see you guys now. All right, so we have a, I just realized I don't need this strap and it's just kind of getting in the way. So, we have the guitar tuned, we have the tripod not entirely straight, um, and now we're going to listen to a little bit of the track, okay? So for those playing along at home, uh, we are tuned B flat, so yes, all the way down a fucking tritone. And then we've got the A string tuned to an F, and then the D string tuned relatively intelligently, just down to a, a, a C, just nice and simple. And then I, th I threw everything else down um, a tone as well, just for the sake of it. Um, but really, these three strings are where we want to be, for this riff at least. So I'm going to play you the riff so you can hear it. Um. It's pretty disgusting. Um, but this absolutely isn't coming through over the microphone, so listen to it at home. So disgusting. Oh fuck, that bit's the best. All right, and then we get into vocals and stuff. And as you can hear from the hiss, that's the MS2 shitting itself 
Um, let's go to the riff a little bit, um, which is maybe about two minutes in. Uh, okay, so it's the verse riff we want to... Here we go. Right, so this is the bit we're going to try and track as well. That's all we're going to try and track. So we have a B flat. We have that sound currently. Um, the, <laughs> the current signal path, we're going into the Korg pitch black tuner, which Cam has on his little board, um, because if we fucking needed it, tuning down a whole goddamn dry tone is <laughs> ridiculous. Then we're going into the Rufus Reloaded, okay? Then he's got a couple of other pedals that we are going through, and then we're going from uh, this little ABY pedal into the MS2, okay? And the MS2 is mic'd up, just close mic'd, with an SM57, all right? We're going to experiment with mic placement, but it's pretty close. It's probably five centimeters off the, off the speaker. Um, right now, we don't have the Rufus Reloaded engaged at all. And this is what it sounds like on the camera mic. Uh. Alright, it's, it's disgusting. Thoroughly disgusting in the best possible way. So, what we're going to do is we are now going to attempt to track two tracks with the bridge pickup, two tracks with that second position with the tone dumped, with just the MS2. No fuzz involved yet. We'll see what happens when it comes time to, to track whether or not we can get away with just that. Um, but yeah, big sounds from small amp. Let's see. Let's get to tracking. All right, we got the cans on. We're ready to record. So let's let's see. Uh, first of all, if I can remember the part. Second of all, because I just learned it. Um, second of all, or just relearned it, I should say. I'm gonna give myself four in. God damn it, right at the end, I fucking cooked the take. All right, let's have a listen to the take. All right, that's sufficiently filthy. Now we double track. So am I just adding another track? Um, what I would do is just duplicate what uh -huh. you want. Um, and then just delete the yep. clip off the new one. Actually, you know what, I should probably retrack that because I, I fucked up okay. towards the end. But let's do that, let's retrack. Nice, all right. Let's do it, fuck it, we'll do it live. Cool. So fucking stupid. <laughs> I was say, you don't have a clue what you're doing. <laughs> no, I, I, hey, hold on. I have a clue what I'm doing. Don't. But the tone is stupid. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm stupid, but it wasn't what. I'm kind of hurt by that, Cam. I'll be honest. I'm kind of hurt. <laughs> Take, take class action when you unionise against me. <laughs> <laughs> the union of Ben and himself versus Cam. All right, cool. Now we do another take. So go right, yeah. Yep, okay. So how do I monitor this uh, one? Click in. And then you want to disarm the other two tracks. And then disarm? You Only two did, disarm. Did you, did you want a duplicate of the Fender as well, or...? Yeah. If we're gonna do so it. Yeah, same thing. Let's do it again. Second okay. track. Um, just oh. make sure you click the square at the top because that'll drop it back to the start. Okay, yep. Because otherwise it'll take off yeah, when you yeah. finish. Wicked.
Cool. We are double tracked for the first few. All right, bang, bang. Now we're gonna listen back and see if it's shit. <laughs> All right, so after double tracking, we will now listen to L track. Excuse me. Yeah, I wasn't done talking. There we go. <laughs> so we've double tracked. We've panned hard left, hard right. Cam's in the back of the room. Say hi, Cam. Hi. There he is. Um, and so far, this is what we've got. So actually, how can I take the Fender Sim out? Uh, if for you now? click the yellow number block where it is. Yep. All right. So we're gonna just listen to the MS twos. Double tracked, hard panned, left and right. And again, you guys are getting this through camera audio, so. Camera. I mean, hey now. I mean, it's two tracks, so we're not done yet. Yeah, the, when it goes down to that B flat, it's like the fartiness just is massive. Yes, correct. I love that. So, that's purely MS2 without the Fender Sim that Cam's put in to kind of help with a bit of bottom end. So, now, the plan of attack. Can I just yes. group everything so it doesn't get confusing in the session? Take a seat, young Skull. Just because I know it's going to get real <laughs> bad. Take a seat, young Skull. Real quick. Yeah, cool. That's good Sweet. I mean, so far, I'm surprised. I'm surprised too. <laughs> I'm surprised. So, what we're going to do now... Um, when you said, hey, let's do this thing with this too, I was like... <laughs> I just... <laughs> right, okay. So now the plan. This is an Ian Thornley trick. Second position, dump the tone. So you just get this farty, disgusting, beautiful thing. Um, what if we put the fuzz on? You know what? We might leave the... F We're going to leave the fuzz. We're just going to do two more tracks, purely MS2. And we'll see what happens. Two position. Take one. Of many, probably. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Look at him, one take wonder. Get in. Double track. Incoming. Double track of the second track, I should say. All right, I might have to punch in there because I cooked a little section. But then just hit record? Yeah, if you hit record, it'll give you one bar of click in and then it'll drop you on that point. Okay, sweet. This is, this is a lesson as well. This is an Ableton lesson for me. I'm trying to get you on it for three years. <laughs> True, you have. <laughs> Um, but what Ableton does as well is when you have a clip, it does this crossfade thing. Yeah. So it should be relatively smooth, and I can go through it manually. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll. It it's uh. It's. I'll be frank with you. It's not very smooth. <laughs> but that's okay. It'll be. Yeah, we'll smooth that out. Don't want to just play the thirty-second clip properly. <laughs> Smart motherfucker. Smart motherfucker. All right, cool. We're done in terms of tracking. Purely MS2 without fuzz. Let's have a listen to what we have so far, purely MS2, no fuzz. <laughs> Should have seen Cam's face. <laughs> he just gave it the old. I mean, look. For just an MS2. We are not... And a Fender Sim. And a Fender Sim. And a Fender Sim. But that's a Sim. 
Let's, let's take it out. Let's take out the Fender Sims. Okay, I think it's off on the second group, but in the first group. Oh, okay. Click on expand. Oh, yeah. no, it's off in the first group as well. It's all just MS. Wow. I, wait, those are off as well. Yeah, that's monitoring. So monitoring's off, but the Fender Sims are deactivated. <gasps> so this is purely a... F just... What is it? It's analog obsessions, black vibe, which oh. is like whatever. Just the a black face, like vibra champ or something. Okay. Or whatever the, I'm not a fan of person. So it's it's just like dead clean. Yeah, it's clean. I've gunned the bass, I think, on it. Okay. For that sort of sub. Thing. Let's listen. I told you I gunned the bass. <laughs> well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Yes. <laughs> that sounds so fucking cool. Yeah. I've heard enough. Okay. Let's now... Okay, so what I've done, as you can hear, I turned on the fuzz pedal. So the Rufus Reloaded fuzz, I just changed it from normal fuzz to octave fuzz. Toned down, that that whole thing. Um, everything's at 12 o'clock. Is it a sub-octave or a high octave? It's a high octave. Okay. Yep. I'm going to turn the treble pop to the left because I think that's the least amount of treble. For pure and simple, just filth, I think, is what we're going for here. Let's um, let's just gun the bass a bit. We're going to do another two tracks. <laughs> layers, onions have layers. Orgas have layers. How do I make another group? Do I um, just... yeah, well, yeah, at this point I'll just make audio tracks in the group yep. because otherwise it's going to get messy. Yep. All right, and let's just do that and then... If you select them both with the shift key, yeah. Group. Or command G. If you want to be command G, he says. <laughs> hmm. More fuzz. I didn't turn the fuzz on. What a numpty. Oh, that's just... That's just inappropriate, frankly. It is just inappropriate. What we're dealing with here. Alright. Hold on to your dicks. So dumb. It's so, this tone is so dumb. I love it so much. Okay, I double track now. I put this track, and then I do that track, and I might go to the two position with no tone. Over the top of that is just white noise now. I, I can, I can, I can feel it. <laughs> it's disgusting, and I'm fan. One more time for Ben. Here we go. I think we have conclusively decided. Do we need another amp for this part? Let's. Hard pan. Let's slightly less hard pan the octave fuzzes. And let's see what we're playing with. What are your thoughts? Just so far, immediately. You, you had a look on your face. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way? Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I didn't think there'd ever be a use for that amp. And to the, be honest. I mean, to be fair. Not in a real world scenario. No. Nah. This is a very niche use case, though. This is trying to... Sp- I don't know, there's probably some bands in Europe that wouldn't mind tracking like that. It's true. <laughs> That's absurd. You know what? I don't think we need to do anything else. It's not going to serve. For the purpose of the video and for the purpose of this track, I don't think it needs anything else. I I think we've done it with just the MS2 and the fuzz. I honestly don't think you need the fuzz. All the fuzz adds is a residual like white noise that sits above everything. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, to to be fair, I I don't necessarily think you're wrong. Mm. I think the fuzz... There's like a little bit of extra nastiness to it mm. and like a little bit of extra compression if we needed it, <laughs> which we didn't. But I think for the purposes of the exercise, I think we're good. So I think I'll call that there for now. Um, we're going to go sit in the aircon for a little bit because it's warm. And then I think we'll come back to it in 20 minutes and have a, have a listen and have a, maybe fuck with the Fender Sim a bit and see what's going down. All right, catch it whenever I... It'd, it'd be immediate, because editing, fucking goddamn. Okay, so we have taken five minutes. We've gone into the air conditioning because it's bloody 30 degree day here in Australia and it's, uh, it's not entirely pleasant in this studio. So we took five... <laughs> it's fucking warm, bro. So we took five... I ate a bit of food because I'm hungry. Now we came back. Cam has done like a little bit of EQ. And by a little bit, I mean... A shitload. Well, a shitload, but it took him five five minutes of just kind of faffing around, right? So that's what we're looking at in terms of the EQ. I can screenshot this and um, send it to you as well. No, don't worry about it, mate. It should be right. Let's zoom in. So Basically cutting mids. Cutting mids. Cutting a little bit of the top end. Cutting some more mids. Boosting some top end. <laughs> Boosting some top end, yeah, just... Cutting and boosting everything, basically. More or less. So that's... Excuse me while I set that tripod back down. That's more or less... Fucking goddamn. That's more or less what Cam's just done in, like, five minutes. And a little bit of saturation as well. A little bit of saturation on the Not end. Not much, though. So what we've also done, we've put a, uh, a rat emulation in front of two of the Fender tracks. Um, we've just kind of gunned the gain and the filter's about 10 o'clock. Um, the other two are completely clean. And we took out the tracks with the Rufus. So, um, this is what it sounds like. Conclusion, can you get some big, fat, disgusting, awful tones with just an MS-2? Yes, is the answer to that question. We have done, again, the Fender Sim thing with the rat, but I think for the purpose of the exercise, we could take the, the Fender Sims out and, and be kind of like 80% there, you know? Um, although my theory and Cam's theory is that in the studio, it wasn't just the MS2, obviously, because um, Ian Thornley, um, Big Rec, very much has been a fan of pedal platform style amps 
since In Loving Memory Of, like In Loving Memory Of was basically all like a basement with, you know, like the Pigtronics fat drive and all that kind of shit on it. Um, maybe not on that first album, I don't know when the Pigtronics pedal came out, but um, yeah, it's basement all over that first record. And then, um, you know, he's a big user of the PT100 and all the Sir stuff now, um, and he would have been during this album. So I think chucking that Fender Sim in there is kind of in keeping with what would have happened in the studio, but I don't think it's necessarily needed as much. If you've just got that and you don't have any software, like if you can just get there with a bit of EQ. Um, I guess that'll do it for that video. That was that was a bit of fun. I think we were both... What have we learned today? What have we learned today, What Grant? have we learned? We have learned that if you chuck an SM57 in front of a Marshall Air MS2, you can get some pretty filthy, massive tones if you just commit to double tracking and triple tracking and quadruple tracking absolutely everything and then doing like a little bit of EQ on the end. So experiment was a success, I think. Sure. You're the judge. I'm the judge. And I judge, I decree, that it was it was fun and fuck it whatever let me know what you think um I, i'm not trying to sound exactly like ian thornley on the record i should probably say that um first of all because i'm not ian thornley <laughs> however much i wish i was uh second of all obviously different studio environment different gear he may not have even used the ms2 on that track i don't know but i think for the sake of the experiment it was a success and I'm going to sign off on that video. Let me know what you thought in the old uh, comment section down below. And we'll have a chat about it because it was good fun. So thank you, Cam, for letting us use your uh, MS2 and your studio. And I'll see you guys in the next Vlidaho, whenever that is. So adios. <laughs>